Let's face it, we all know that reading is really good for us. It's been proven to increase our knowledge, expand our horizons, and even reduce stress. Reading is even credited as a key to success, even by some of the most accomplished people in the world. And we all agree that we should all read more, but we just don't really always have the time and the energy to do this. There's one essential skill that I've learned recently that I wasn't taught in school and it's helped me become a better reader and despite my efforts when I have low energy, it's still allowed me to retain the information and get through books that I've had a hard time getting through previously. The skill that I'm talking about is reading in parallel. And if you've never heard of this before, I'm gonna break it all down for you. So what exactly does it mean to read multiple books in parallel, Blake? Essentially, it means reading more than one book at a time but strategically dividing your attention between topics. By learning how to strategically divide my attention and make connections between seamlessly disparate ideas, I was able to become a much more efficient and effective reader. Instead of jumping back from one book to the next like Frogger, you need to have a strategic plan on how exactly you're going to divide your attention, how you're going to engage with each text and how it's all going to fit together. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking, Blake, why would I wanna read books in parallel? That seems like a lot of work. Why should I bother when I could just focus on one Harry Potter at a time? Actually, probably should go in order in that one. Well, the truth is, being a better reader isn't just really about efficiency. It's about opening up your horizons and your perspectives to big, bold ideas. And by reading books in parallel, you're able to do just that. So if you're bought in, you're still watching, here are some tips and strategies on how you can start to read in parallel. To parallel read efficiently, you first want to identify how many books you are going to read at once. I suggest you start with two books and then gradually add more as you get more comfortable with the process. Choose books that are different from each other. For instance, you could read a novel or a biography or a self-help book, all different forms of material that you're not going to get confused with. Next, set a goal of how much you will read from each book in a single setting. This will help you stay on track and make sure that you're making progress in these books. What I found works best for me is reading in the morning before I go to work because like I said, after work, I'm so tired and just getting to that is daunting, but I can focus and make that a priority in the morning after I work out and that's when I have the most energy. One important tip is to keep a separate notebook or journal and so you can actually summarize and write down what you were learning. This will help you keep track of what you're learning and you could also keep a log of what you read each day and what time and what how many pages and all of that. Overall, parallel reading has been a game changer for me. It's helped me read more efficiently and effectively and I've been able to just learn a lot more from different genres and topics simultaneously. I love the fast pace of going from one thing to the next and absorbing more information and some weird way it's helped me maintain it, I guess just because I'm just so eager to read one thing and then read the next instead of just reading a very long drawn out thing on one particular topic. Personally, I used to struggle with reading one book at a time, let alone multiple. I have ADHD and just the simple act of reading was just a very hard thing for me to just get proficient at. I found myself getting really bored and just losing interest after a few chapters. But after practicing parallel reading, I found myself being interested and engaged in all those books and actually retaining the information. And I think part of the reason as to why we struggle reading a lot of time is because of this misconception of what it actually is to be a good reader. For example, we might think that we need to read every single page on a book or that we need to finish every book that we start. But the truth is, there's not really one right way to read. I mean, in theory there is, you read left to right, but overall it should be an enjoying experience that you don't have to force yourself to have to do. And the goal should be to just get as much out of that book as possible instead of just having to go by the arbitrary standard of what good reading is. I know for many of you, the pain point of reading goes far beyond just misconceptions and viewpoints. It'd be a lot of work. It's physically and mentally draining. It requires focus and energy and attention and all things that come in short supply these days, especially when we're usually just stuck in TikTok land. So whether you're a busy student with a giant course load of topics, or you're a professional just wants to get ahead and just get as much information as possible, or you have ADHD like me and you just have a hard time focusing on one thing at a time, then I think parallel reading is something that you should definitely consider trying. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and share it with someone that reads that is maybe struggling with reading and this could potentially help them. Like I said, there's different reading styles for everyone. This may not work for you, who knows? Maybe there's something that will work for you that didn't work for me, but either way, this is something that's been super effective for me and I just really wanted to share that with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video, guys. Later.